I like that you've got the memo to put lots of greenery in your background as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a jungle behind you as well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You need, need the plantage for these things. It's nice to chat to you about yeah. Last Night. I honestly thought it was a film that was filmed during the pandemic. It looks like it was. And I think other people could be forgiven to, for thinking that because it's it's so much of just you kind of on your own a lot of the time, but it wasn't, right? It was actually filmed in 2018, so it was a bit of a labour of love. But yeah, it, it was kind of well suited to lockdown, but not lockdown. But <laughs> yeah. We're so used to with sci-fi films, though, seeing so much CGI. How real did this one feel compared? Because obviously you've done plenty of sci-fi as well before. How how real did this feel compared to the others that you've done? It felt, it, it looked all very real. The set was built kind of around everyone so wherever you looked you were within the set so it felt it felt really all-encompassing and it you know it's about AI obviously but the the robots were you know Gavin is a, a, a real kind of lover of the old school sci-fi so they're all people in robots basically in costumes moving around. Never had a chance to step into the robot yourself and see what it felt like. <laughs> no, never, ne never jumped in the suit. No, you, you ever, you've ever been inside a robot suit? Oh, Many I, times, actually. I don't think I have, but I think if I had the opportunity, like you did, I probably would. I think I don't. I, they were pretty specifically sized, so I don't know if I would have fitted in it. You know I mean? but, Obviously, this is so techy. Are you someone who's got your place completely decked out in tech stuff and, you know, you've got your Alexas here and your, everything like that you can talk to? Or are you someone who like, right, when I close my laptop, I'm covering up the camera. I don't want, I want to be aware of all of that. You are deep, deeply paranoid. Um, no, I, yeah, um, no, I think I'm, I'm the opposite, actually. I, you know, I, I started... I, I, when I started kind of looking into the part, you know, you, you obviously do some research and try and find your way in and my initial idea of trying to find a way into it was, you know, reading a bunch of books on advanced robotics and mathematics. And after about two chapters, I realized that, you know, that wasn't for me. Um, that was going to be an uphill battle. I'm an, I'm an actor, not a not an engineer. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm the opposite of that, basically. You're not on social media at all, right? Like, no, no Instagram, no Twitter, no nothing. Like, has there, never, has there never been any temptation to, like, you know join those platforms or anything like that? Uh, yeah, sometimes. I mean, there are times when you think, oh, would it, I don't know, would it be interesting? Would, would you have more of a point of world view on things? Would you get more information? But, but, I, but I'm not sure that's the case with me. I, I, I think um, having, being able to step back a little bit from things and not to share every tiny piece of myself is good for me. I mean, I'm not saying that you have to do that on social media, but I don't know. Do you have it? Are you involved? I mean, I'm on. You are deep. I want every, I want everything. But you kind of. I always feel like you, you have to be. To I get. To yeah. Keep up with stuff, but that's why I didn't know because obviously for you, when you, especially when you're like promoting films and stuff, I thought you know maybe it might be something you want to have just for that kind of thing. Well, it's a good. It's a good point. I mean, it's a, it's a it's such a big part of our general language now, social media. But I think the difference between you know an actor and, and you know a journalist, I understand why you would need it. But you know, part of me feels like you, my job is to play a bunch of different people and to vaguely believe me in those parts. Um, so if I'm kind of posting day to day stuff about myself and I kind of ebb away that that a little bit if that makes sense. Oh, fair enough. I just know there's a lot of fans out there you have a lot of fan accounts who I think would be very happy if, uh, <laughs> if, you, were, if you were on there. Um, how as well how has lockdown been treating you? Has, has it given you more time to focus on your music as well? Uh, a little bit yeah I mean it's been it's been good I don't know how you found it it's been good and bad I mean it's not being able to see family and um you know obviously pretty tough um for a lot of people but I mean on the on the flip side you know you have more time to to, to focus on stuff that you wouldn't have time to otherwise um been able to do a little bit of filming in the other countries where the you know the the, the pandemic wasn't as um intense but but no, in terms of music, yeah, but uh, only in a kind of silly way, uh, uh, not, not not in a proper way, I don't think. Oh, okay. We're not going to be getting a, a new album from, from... No, no, that would be fun, but no.